Good morning, Christian. Now, I don't know if this camera is working quite the way that I think it will because we had to change over from our server computer, which is a big tower with a terabyte of memory that updated and now it's taking forever to update. So unfortunately, it's kind of out to lunch for now, but oh, wrong way. But I just wanted you to get a handle on my posse back here that keeps an eye on things, you know, make sure everything's running smooth. You know, Scooby-Doo, Augie Doggy Daddy, or at least reminds me of Augie. <laughs> and uh, my wife's favorite, uh, the pink elephant. Or is that a flamingo? Well, you get it. The point that we wanted to make this morning about Passover, which you could see back here. Eh, which finger am I doing? Oh, no. Back here is the reality of how you can't get so serious that you forget that it's meant to be celebration. In other words, there are people that, well, you know, what goes, what happens if, say, in the middle of your church service, the sound goes out? Are you like a panic-stricken, you know, kind of worker behind the scenes going, ah! Or just go, hey, praise the Lord, you know, let's just move on, you know, and take care of it. Well, besides church, where you expect everything to be perfect, we like to do here at Vidivo Church and Vidivo Ministries the reality of, hey, what you see is what you get. I mean, back here, this isn't my only posse, but these are some of the guys that I hang out with because, frankly, I used to work in the ministry with so many other, like, human beings. I find it easier to work with a bunch of stuffed animals because, uh, dare I say that, all these stuffed shirts make sense. And the stuffed shirts that I meet in Christianity, eh, you know, they need to get a little lighter load on their shoulders, you know, and learn to loosen up some. <coughs> so what I'm trying to say to you is, if it is spring, wherever you are, however you are, whatever you're doing, because after all, Passover, Good Friday, Easter, you know, kind of, eh, I think it's spring. You know, should be some sunshine breaking through sooner or later in your area. And we've had two days of sunshine, which is like a record here right now. Um, last year I was out camping, you know, but this year, unfortunately, it's not been quite the same. We've had kind of a long sprinter, you know, which means spring and winter. And it's been more windy and rainy and stuff than it's been, and some snow, than it's been spring. So... Unfortunately, this year has been kind of like, oh, man, you know, I'm kind of missing out. Where's spring? You know, I'm in a hurry because I'm recovering and I'd rather get out in the sunshine. That's what we want to talk about today is that the festivals of Easter, Passover, Good Friday, Wednesday, Thursday, whatever day you celebrate Resurrection Day or the eating of the Passover or the, you know, killing of the lamb or whatever it may be, enjoy. You know, if, if your Easter is so serious that, you know, you've got to get all dressed up, decked out, and fight with the kids to get them to church on time. Bag it. I mean, seriously, go have an Easter egg hunt instead. Or go sit in the park, or go play Frisbee, or go shoot hoops, you know, baskets, you know, play mule or dog or whatever they play. What do they shoot? Pig or something? I don't know. But the point being is simply enjoy what it is God has given you. That's what the point of all of Scripture was. Jesus didn't come back and say, hey, I want you to be miserable, so let's just keep the law. Let's just let the Pharisees run everything. Let's just tell everyone that they got to do this and do that in order to be this and to be that. And frankly, you know, let's just be miserable because we can't live up to our own standards. The G. I don't think that's much of a good news. Do you? Nah, I think the grace that God has given us is so important to realize and recognize that we are supposed to be recognizing that we can be, oh, how happy, the word blessed. We can be, oh, how happy when we're poor. Because, frankly, all the people that I meet are rich aren't happy. I mean, even the ones that, you know, I have a problem with Christians going on Christian cruises. It just bugs me to death. I just, eh, you know, it doesn't compute in my mind. How do you get from, you know, Deny yourself, take up your cross and follow me to go to Christian cruises and, you know, Christian retreats and Christian college and Christian this and pay, you know, more than you do anywhere else when Jesus said freely you receive, freely give. 
I just can't put the two together. But besides my own bias and prejudice, the reality of what I'm trying to say is enjoy it. You know, if something's bragging you down, dragging you down, bumming you out, or making you be worse than what you should be, knowing that you're saved, then it's not worth it. Get rid of it. Put it out of your life. Get rid of the old leaven. Um, get a new wineskin and fill it up full of the joy of the Lord because Jesus is coming sooner than you think, and this is all over with, man. I mean, this world, it sucks. <laughs> it's not what it's supposed to be, and whatever you think you got is going to be gone. And whatever you think you're doing isn't going to last because it's going to be tossed in the fire and tested to see whatsoever, you know, manner it was. And I know personally a lot of my works are going to be consumed in the fire. I do know a lot of pastors' works are going to be toasted. <laughs> but there'll be some things that are good that we've done along the way. And so that's left up to God to say, not us. Because, you know, I mean, we're impure. We're not We've never been through the refiner's fire. We like to sing about it and talk about it, but no, we're not there yet until we die. Then you've been refined. Mm -hmm. So in the meantime, when you have the opportunity to enjoy the day, such as the Lord has made, then do so on these holy days, these days that God has made for you to celebrate with, oops, your crew, you know, whoever may be, whether it be, you know, like these guys that keep me happy or whether it be, you know, your own church or your own pastor or people that, you know, make you miserable. Well, if you really want to be miserable, not only can you, you are. You can choose this day whom you'll serve, whether it be the God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob or Jesus or the father of Jesus or whatever you want to play games with. Hey, I got news for you. When God brings out the sunshine, I know what he wants me to do that day. Be thankful and glad for this is the day that the Lord has made. And I can rejoice in that because, frankly, I like sunshine. I like joy. I like the holy days that God has given me to celebrate. So, good Christian, you know, and good morning, Christian. The one word I would give to you today to use throughout the holy days, the days that God has appointed for us to remember certain things, celebrate. Don't argue. Don't debate. Just Celebrate.